Hi students, this is Mr. Dowd and this is yet another video to help you through these projects. This is for project 2.5, the fitness app. And the way we get started here is in our orange notebooks. Um, when you look at the parameters of the project, that means when you look at what is required, uh, we know that it is a fitness app and that it tracks the minutes that the user uses. Again, all of these are available. I don't have to go over all of them here. They're available on paper like this in class, and they're also in your Project Lead the Way curriculum. The first thing that you need to do is make some decisions based on the requirements uh, of the optional things that you're going to add. Which ones are you going to use and which ones are you going to leave out? And then make some notes in your orange notebook. This is the first thing I would do. Making notes about, for instance, how many of these activity challenges are you going to put in? Do you want to have the user set a goal or not? Um, and then maybe anything that you want to just remind yourself to do, like, oh, I need to put in the code for a random challenge, a, a random selection. Um, are you gonna do videos or images or voice? Uh, I decided video, and so I made a note about that. I did a little research about how many minutes per week or how many minutes per day um, would I need to account for or have some kind of uh, notification that the user had reached those amounts. And then the next thing you do is you sketch what your screens are going to look like. And you can grab one of these from the classroom. They are also in the Project Lead the Way curriculum. Sketch out what your screens are going to look like. You and your partner are going to have to put some thought into how many screens are you going to need. And then maybe which screens are going to lead to which. I decided on four screens to do uh, my app plus an attribution screen. And I'm going to use this not only to say who made the app, that's me in this case, uh, the title of the app, and then any sources that you used. For instance, we're all using MIT App Inventor uh, to do our coding. We're going to give them credit. Um, and then who made the art? And if you made the art, um, like for instance, for the buttons or for any pictures, then what did you use to do it? Um, I film somebody demonstrating the uh, different fitness challenges. I'm going to give that person credit on this screen. Uh, in this screen, you can set it for scrolling, make it as long as you want. And you can see I made that note right next to it. After you have made your sketches, what I want you to do is start making some flow charts. And in this case, I think the best place to start is do the buttons, flow charts for the buttons on your screen. So on my first screen, I have a button that takes you to the setup screen, a button that takes you to your daily data entering screen, and then a button that takes you to the fitness challenges. And then there's also a pop-up button that explains what the app is all about. So in this case, this is, this is an example of flow charts for those three buttons on the first screen. It just simply takes you to other screens, and those are the flow charts. When you get to the other screens, it gets a little more complicated, and your buttons, uh, you can see, will be um, flow charting out more. This isn't even complete from my um, uh, buttons. These are examples for you guys to get started. And again, depending on what your buttons do, those flow charts may look a lot different than what you have here. So uh, this is how we get started on 2.5, the Fitness Challenge app. We are not opening up the software yet. We are simply going to sketch out and do some flow charting on what we are uh, aiming for. You and your partner should work together. You should divide up the work, and then we can make copies of your different flow charts or your different screen sketches so that um, you don't have to double the work. Um, your partner can have copies of your work and vice versa. Good luck, and I'll be in class to help you out. This is part one. Stay tuned for part two in a couple of days.